Welcome to Top 10 Archive. A picture may be worth a thousand words, but sometimes it is the story behind the photo that does all of the talking. In this installment, we're going to dig through a proverbial photo album of the macabre, looking through 10 photographs that may seem innocuous, but underneath the surface, these Polaroids have attached to them stories that are unforgettable and, quite honestly, quite a bit disturbing. So, take heed. Some of these photos and the stories behind them are not for the faint of heart. Number 10. Tyler Hadley's Killer Party when 17-year-old Tyler Headley of Port St. Lucie, Florida invited upwards of 60 people to his home for a massive party, everything seemed innocent enough. The party went off without a hitch. Everybody had a great time, and Hadley even snapped a great selfie to share across the internet. What looks to be an innocent snapshot with a friend is really a look at a cold-blooded killer. Not long before Hadley's house started to fill up with guests, he had murdered both of his parents with a hammer, leaving their bodies in an adjoining room during the party. Apparently, the high school dropout was denied the party by his folks, so he took matters into his own hands and disposed of his obstacles. Number 9. The Red Vauxhall Cavalier This adorable photo taken on August 15, 1998, shows a father and son getting the most out of their day in Ulma, Ireland. After the photo was taken, though, they quickly stopped being the focus of it. The seemingly unimportant red car at the right edge of the photo was outfitted with a car bomb that exploded moments after the photo was snapped. The explosion, as a result of the real IRA's opposition to the Good Friday Agreement, was large enough to kill 29 and injured over 300 people. If any good can be found in this troubling picture, it's that the father and son actually survived the blast. Number 8. Travis Alexander's Last Shower Travis Alexander was a salesman out of Mesa, Arizona, who lived a pretty decent life with his seven siblings. Working as a salesman for prepaid legal services, Alexander was at a Las Vegas conference in 2006 when he met Jody Ann Arias. The two hit it off and, in February of 2007, entered into a relationship that would last four months. Oh, but when the romance ended, Arias may have taken things a little harder than Travis did. In 2008, a year after the affair ended, Arias returned to Travis's house for what was believed to have been an innocent encounter. While Travis showered, Arias snapped this photo. There is no indication in Travis's expression that he expected to be brutally murdered by Arias immediately after. Number 7. Rinaldo Daxa's Family Photo Captured in this would-be innocent photo is the tragic tale of Philippine counselor Rinaldo Daxa. Though Daxa's wife, daughter, and mother-in-law are in the foreground of the family shot, it's tough not to notice the capped character in the background pointing something directly at the counselor. Seconds after the photo was taken, the mysterious character, later identified as Michael Gonzalez, assassinated Dagza, the item he was pointing having been a loaded weapon. The shooter, who was quickly picked up thanks to the picture in question, had recently been jailed for car theft due to Dagza's efforts. Number 6. Chris McCandless Wanting to escape the overbearing nature of the world, adventurer Chris McCandless took to the Alaskan wilderness in April of 1992. He traveled light, bringing with him little food and equipment to make his journey as simplistic as possible. A journal of Chris's adventure was found covering 113 days of living in an abandoned bus and living off of Alaskan land. This self-taken photo shows a rather gaunt Chris smiling and waving to the camera. Sadly, this is the last photo that Chris ever took and was likely snapped not long before he died of starvation. Many speculate that the photo was Chris's way of saying goodbye as he knew he would eventually succumb to starvation. Number 5. John Lennon Meets His Assassin The death of John Lennon struck the world hard, which makes a photo like this even more difficult to see. What looks like an innocent snapshot of the star signing his autograph for a fan is really a shot of Lennon meeting his soon-to-be assassin, Mark David Chapman. 
Several hours after this photo was taken, as Lennon returned from a day in a recording studio, Chapman opened fire on the musician, striking him in the back and shoulder with a 38. Though Chapman had been a Beatles fan, after becoming a born-again Christian, his tune changed. Lennon's claim that the Beatles were more popular than Jesus was one of many actions by the singer that pushed Chapman to assassinate him. Number 4. Regina K. Walters' Last Photo In Pasadena, Texas, Regina K. Walters was your average 14-year-old girl. When Robert Ben Rhodes entered her life, she unwillingly became a media sensation. Rhodes may have seemed like a regular guy, but in the cab of his 18-wheeler, he had erected his very own mobile torture chamber. Walters was one of Robert Rhodes' few victims. With Walters in tow, Rhodes traveled to Illinois and stopped at a random abandoned barn. There, he snapped this photo of a truly terrified Regina and killed her immediately after. The photo was used as evidence against Rhodes, who was sentenced to life in prison without parole when he was arrested on September 11, 1992. Number 3. The Broken Hiker When friends Sailor Gilliams and Brendan Vega went out hiking together in Santa Barbara County, California, they expected adventure, but they didn't quite expect the kind of adventure they got. The path the two had decided to walk along was shrouded in darkness, making it difficult for either to see their footing. Along the way, they had both fallen, injuring themselves numerous times. Unable to move and their cries for help attracting no savior, Vega made the decision to limp away to find help. Vega never returned, and Gilliams was left lying on a rocky floor with a broken arm, two broken ankles, and many compound fractures. It wasn't until another group of hikers came to the area the next day, snapping photos of their triumphs, that Gilliams was rescued. In this seemingly harmless photo, Gilliams lay broken, her dark red hair visible against the tan and gray of the rock. Number 2. The Dive of Tina Watson Tina Watson had it all. She had just gotten married to the man of her dreams, Gabe Watson, and was on a honeymoon in Australia that the couple would surely remember. Gabe, on the other hand, may not have been as ecstatic as Tina, which may be why Gabe stood trial for the murder of Tina in 2003. In this haunting photo, which shows Gabe Watson in the foreground, also captures Tina's lifeless body sunken at the bottom of the ocean. Blame immediately turned to Gabe, who was certified as an open-water scuba diver, rescue diver, advanced diver, and specialty diver. The charges were eventually dismissed in Alabama, though he did serve a term of manslaughter in Australia. Number 1. James Bulger's Murderer Little James Bulger was about to turn three years old when he was kidnapped, tortured, and murdered by two ten-year-olds, Robert Thompson and John Venables. A snapshot of CCTV footage from the mall Bulger and his mother were at show the start of the sinister story as it captures Bulger holding hands with either Thompson or Venables as they lead him out of the mall. After a two-and-a-half-mile hike to the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, the boys tortured Bulger in the worst ways before killing him by dropping a 22-pound iron bar onto his head. The two-year-old sustained 42 injuries from a crime that started with what looked like an innocent photo capture of two brothers holding hands. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like and share the link for this video with all your friends on your favorite social media sites. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.